Hi, and welcome to Inside Us. In this video, we will talk about digestive system and its role in the formation of human body. The digestive system is a group of organs that work together to convert food into energy and basic nutrients to feed the entire body. Food is broken down mechanically and chemically in the mouth, then moves through the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine before being eliminated from the body. The organs of the digestive system include the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. The liver, gallbladder, and pancreas also play important roles in the digestive process. Mouth The mouth plays a vital role in the digestive system as it is the first point of contact between the body and food. The process of digestion begins in the mouth with the mechanical breakdown of food through the process of chewing. Food is mixed with saliva, which contains the enzyme amylase, responsible for breaking down carbohydrates. The tongue helps to mix the food with saliva and also helps in moving the food to the back of the mouth for swallowing. The act of swallowing, also known as deglutition, is a complex process that is controlled by several muscles in the mouth, throat, and esophagus. In addition to breaking down food, the mouth also plays a role in the sense of taste, which helps the body to identify and discern between different types of food. Esophagus The esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. It is responsible for transporting food from the mouth to the stomach using a series of muscular contractions, known as peristalsis. The esophagus also has a ring-like muscle at the top, known as the upper esophageal sphincter which helps to keep food and stomach acid from flowing back into the esophagus. This muscle relaxes to allow food to pass through and then tightens to prevent the backflow of stomach contents. The esophagus also has a lower esophageal sphincter, which is located at the bottom and separates the esophagus from the stomach. Stomach The stomach is a muscular sac that plays a crucial role in the digestion of food. It mixes food with stomach acid and digestive enzymes, which helps to break down proteins and kill harmful bacteria. The stomach also releases a hormone called ghrelin, which signals to the brain that the body is hungry. As food enters the stomach, it is mixed with stomach acid and enzymes to form a thick liquid called chyme. The stomach then releases the chyme into the small intestine in small amounts, allowing for proper digestion and absorption. The stomach is able to stretch to accommodate large amounts of food and also has the ability to temporarily store food, releasing it into the small intestine as needed. Small intestine. The small intestine is a long, coiled tube that is responsible for the majority of nutrient absorption. The walls of the small intestine are lined with tiny, finger-like projections called villi and microvilli, which greatly increases the surface area for absorption. The small intestine also plays a role in the secretion of bile, which is produced by the liver and stored in the gallbladder. Bile helps to emulsify fats, making them easier to digest. The small intestine also receives enzymes from the pancreas, which aid in the digestion of proteins and fats. Large intestine. The large intestine is a tube-like organ that is responsible for absorbing water and electrolytes from undigested food. It also plays a role in the formation of feces, which is eliminated from the body through the rectum and anus. The large intestine also houses beneficial bacteria, which aid in the breakdown of undigested food and produce certain vitamins. Rectum The rectum is the last section of the large intestine and plays a key role in the elimination of waste from the body. It is a muscular tube that temporarily stores feces before they are eliminated through the anus. The rectum also plays a role in the process of defecation, which is the act of passing feces from the body. The rectum is sensitive to the presence of feces and sends signals to the brain indicating that a bowel movement is needed. The rectum also has a muscle called the rectal sphincter, which controls the release of feces. It is important to note that the rectum can also store gas and have to release it via the anus. Anus the anus is the opening at the end of the digestive tract through which feces are eliminated from the body. It is made up of several muscles, including the external and internal anal sphincters, which control the release of feces. The external anal sphincter is under conscious control, while the internal anal sphincter is controlled by the autonomic nervous system. The anus also has a rich blood supply, 
which helps to protect against injury and infection. It is important to note that the anus is also a sensitive organ, as it contains a large number of nerve endings. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. For more videos related to human body and medical science, please hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.